Okay, so I'm looking for a bound suite and whatever that is. Is he up? Is like, is that one up in a tree or something? Nope, I just squove it. Bro, I literally. Oh, and now Surskit goes on the freaking ground. Of course you would. Um, anyway. Bound sweet! Found him! Let me, let me, let me back up and chillax for a second. So I can find these other ones. I've already caught like what 30 or 40? Probably not no nah, probably not 30 yet. Probably at, at least 25. Alright, so now I'm looking for the other one. I don't even know what the other one is called. I don't know. No, it went away. Freaking A, man. Well, that sucks. Nope. All right. Well, let's go and go over go over here. That sucked. I was hoping to grab whatever that was. I don't even know what that was. I'm. I mean, I know what it is, but I don't remember the name. All right. So now let's go. Probably going to the school, right? Uh, where's that at? Up here. Yeah. I think that's the evolved form of Scatterbug, to be truthfully honest. What the crap? Oh, what did I do? Why the crap am I way over here? Oh! Okay, I gotta go up in the middle and then all the way up. So, I went around because I'm an idiot. Be a lot faster if I had Karyodon. Was it Mirrodon? I don't remember.
I got glasses over there. Don't you get it? If you join Team Star, you can shine as bright as anybody. Seriously, what's with you? Don't you want to burn bright with awesome friends like us? Not really. Look, we've got a quota we're supposed to fill for new members. So, just sign up already. Um, I'd rather not. Help her out. Huh? You want in on this too? If you're here to sign up, we'll get uh, we'll get to you next. We've nearly got this one in the bag. We're Team Star, kid. We burn so bright it hurts to look at us. But you knew that, right? No. I did not. I mean, I did, but... <laughs> uh, another ignorant little nobody. Here I'm, here, I'm finally part of Team Star, and still I get no respect. I gotta work my way up the ranks. Hey... We can't just let something like this slide. The honor of our team's on the line. We've got no real choice but to battle, yeah? That's true. You keep watching the little four eyes over there. I'll make sure this fresh face nobody ends up seeing stars. All right, it's Team Star Grunt. Brutal. That's fine. Why am I not on the screen right now? Oh, well. We'll get back on in a minute. Oh, that was easy. How come I'm the one seeing stars? Because you suck. Er, uh, why is it nobody like you so good at battling anyway? That's just not right. No way. He beat you? Does that mean I got to battle this kid now? Since I'm higher up the Team Star's ranks. Para Bueno. Uh, what do you think you're doing? Uh, it's it's that student it's that student council dweeb. She's gonna report us if we don't book it. I can't believe you. You don't have to find Randos to bat you don't have to find Randos to battle. You'll all you have all the battles you'll ever need with me. That's not really what happened. Wait, they picked a fight with you? Wow, I read that way wrong. Sorry. I get it now. You two have got Team Star written all over your face for sure. Um, I bet you were trying to pressure people into signing up again, weren't you? Uh, hi. We weren't not doing that. Well, that explains it. As head of student council, stopping this type of nonsense would normally be my job. But this is also the perfect chance for you to try my amazing ultra rare gift to you. Terrastalizing. Yep, that is. Terrastalizing. We got a terror orb. You put the terror orb in your bag. Uh, an orb that holds within the power to crystallize. Um, when it when it's charged with energy, it can be used to cause Pokemon to terrastalize. Uh, with this Terra Orb, you can terrestrialize your Pokemon during battle. Let's see. After it terrestrializes, I'm pretty sure your Quaxi will be a Water type. Normally, you've got to keep keep. Most got to take special classes just to be able to get one of these Terra Orbs. But I put in a good word for you. Now, time to give it a whirl. You'll learn to use it faster in battle than if I explain it to you. Wait, what? You want this kid to practice welling on us with a Terra Pokemon? Is that it? Got a problem? You want to battle me instead? Uh, never mind. I'll take my chances with the new kid. Then take your places in battle. Mm. 
Got another Team Star Grunt. Young Goose. Here in Paldea region, Pokemon can crystallize through a strange phenomenon. The people call it terrestrializing. You can terrestrialize your Pokemon by selecting terrestrialize button in battle. When a Pokemon terrestrializes, it changes its type. It changes its Terra type. Moves of the same type uh, as its Terra type will become more powerful than usual. After terrestrializing a Pokemon uh, once, you won't be able to terrestrialize the Pokemon again until you heal up at a Pokemon Center. So use this strategy wisely to seize victory in battles. Uh, I guess we'll go ahead and terrestrialize, I guess. And there it is. Problem with learn move Nuzzle. What does Nuzzle do? I forgot. Oh, uh, it's like my Nuzzle. Leave the tire. Yeah. Your Pokemon burn so bright. Nice. You pulled off Terrestrializing. No problem. Moves your Pokemon's Terra type will hit even harder when it's Terrestrialized, you know. Sometimes you find a Pokemon whose Terra type is totally different from its usual type. That type is totally... That difference can open up uh, your strategic options. Got to charge your Terra Orb at Pokemon Center after every use by healing up your team, though. We, uh, well, I'll be on my merry way then. Yeah, Asla V-Star. Me too, Asla V-Star. So, yeah, Team Star is basically a group of students that like to kick up trouble. They hardly ever show up in show up to class, and when they get together in groups, they're a real headache. Even the teachers don't know what to do with them, uh, from what I hear. Um, excuse me. I, uh, just, well, thanks. Yeah, so, yeah, see you around. Ah, look at you. Already becoming a big hero around campus. I don't think I've seen that girl around. Maybe she's a new transfer like you. That Eevee bag, though. Love that fluff. Anyway, seems seems like trouble's died down, so we better book it up to school. Get ready to climb the worst staircase in the world. Staircase in the world. All right, let's climb the staircase. Yeah, that's that bad. I'll definitely climb climb worse. Get up in this school. Here we are. Welcome to Yuva Academy. This here's the entrance hall. You can sign up for all kinds of classes at the desk behind me, and those halls off to the sides lead to all different paths of the school. It's totally big enough to let loose and battle in here, but for some reason they banned Pokemon battling in the main entrance. Uh, Miss Simona. How did you find your first school commute? We had a blast. I imagine Miss Simona's spirit, high spirits helped with that. She's a true asset to our fine academy. Uh, not that I was expecting any less from our champion ranked student council president. Reliable as ever, Miss Simona. Well, I know how to look after uh, I, I know how to look for my friends, right? Oh, but speaking of which, we saw some of those Team Star kids in town, Director. You did? Where? It was down the stairs from the front gates. They were hassling this kid. 
with an EV backpack. Uh, this is quite the news. Are they still are they still to be found out there? Actually, uh, Flex Diamond ran off. You don't say. Of course, it's a fine thing to try to help a fellow student. But you might wish to show a bit of restraint as you find your feet here at our academy. And Mr. Mona, do you remember that school staff? School staff is here to resolve any such problems. Uh, right. Yes, sir, director. A child with an EV backpack, you say. I suppose that might have been Miss Penny. I'm relieved to hear she's come to class, at least. Ah, and Mr. Mona, if you'd be so good to report to Mr. Jack uh, about this Team Star business. As your homeroom teacher, he should be kept apprised of all such going on, goings on. You got it, sir. Ah, oh, but look at the time. You two had better hurry along. Classes will be starting soon. We're in class 1A. Come on, I'll show you the way. Ugh. Good morning, Mr. Jack. Hello, hello, everyone. Uh, we have some exciting news this morning. Who wants to hear it? Ooh, me. I want to hear the news. I suppose I should have told you sooner, but we have a little friend joining our happy homeroom as of today. I wonder what they'll be like. All right, you can come on in. Could I trouble you for a few words in introducing yourself? Did you hear that? He seems super friendly and fun. Looks like everyone's eager to get, get to know you. All right, then. Who wants to be the first to ask our new friend a question? Uh, hold on. Uh, me, me. Can I ask a question? What's your favorite thing about Pokemon? Uh... I like everything about Pokemon. Really? Awesome. I'm totally the same. Does anyone else have a question for their new classmate? Me. I have a question. You went to all the trouble of enrolling here, so spill. What do you hope to get out of it? You must have some kind of dream, right? I want to be a strong trainer. You will be. Oh, I just know it. You and me, we're going to get so strong battling together. Well, thank you for telling us a bit about yourself. I'm Mr. Jock. I teach biology here at the academy, and I'm also your homeroom teacher. That's your seat, second row from the front. All right, you ragamuffins. Be nice and friendly to our new classmate. We will, Mr. Jock. Is it Jack or Jock? I think it's Jock. I think if it's spelled like that, it's Jock. Get to know the academy camps by exploring a bit on your own. All right, biology classes. Okay. So in order to take the classes, let me see. What do I have to, I forgot what I got to do to take these classes. Okay, perhaps you will discover something. Let's see. Let's go, let's go to the cafeteria. Um, oh, there's Arvin right there. Hope your studies are going okay. What do you have today? Alright. So yeah, Arvin's up here. Oh, hey. So we meet again. You remember me, right? Oh, from the lighthouse. Yeah, exactly. That's my little know-it-all buddy. Got a mind like a steel trap, eh? Uh, no need to tell me your name. Whole school seems to be talking about you. The new kid who showed up to the president of the student council. Showed up with the president of the student council. I normally wouldn't even bother showing up for class, but I came all the way to school today just to talk with you, our new celebrity. You've got to help me out so I can finally make my dream a reality. Happy to help. What kind of little maniac says yes to something without even knowing what they're agreeing to? Well, this might come as a surprise, but fact is I'm all about the picnic life. The great outdoors, the perfectly prepared sandwiches, all of it. Not half bad at cooking either, I can tell you. 
Right now, I'm researching new recipes that'll that'll help Pokemon feel better. Real health food, see? I found this book the other day, and it had a section about these Herba Mystica things. Basically, there's some kind of special herbs that heal up Pokemon as soon as it eats them. Now, there are a total of five different types of Herba Mystica, based on what I read. Just taking a little click of the, just taking a little lick of them, once they have, once they've been powdered, will get your blood flowing. Provide, uh, provide nutrients, prevent aging. It'll boost the immune system. These herbs seem like they're the real deal. Only found here in Paldea and rare to boot. But this book says they're all guarded by Titan Pokemon, meaning that it's gonna be gonna be pretty tough to try to grab even a few sprigs. Cause see, Titans are well. I think they've got to be things like this. Uh, yeah, Monster of Area Zero. Yeah. Yeah, y'all can read all that. I really want to get those herbs for myself, but I'm not very good at Pokemon battles. Uh, don't have any friends or strong Pokemon to lend me a hand either. And I'd never hear the end of it if I went crawling to the student council girl. But here you washed up. You've got to help me out with this. You'd be perfect. I got you. Nope, wait, I don't need an answer yet. It, uh, I'll just register the places where it seems there might be Titans in your map app for you. I got you. The Titans layers have been added to your map app. Got the Path of Legends. Uh, let it stew a bit, uh, and we can get into more details later. And in the meantime, take this. A little gift for listening and all. Bag of Stardust. Give the idea some serious thought, please. I already done told you, yeah. Uh, this is Rob. Let's see, I hacked your smartphone so I could talk to you. Hope you don't mind. Uh, what do you mean hacked? Well, as far as you're con concerned, it means I'm basically in control of your phone right now. My name's Ca Cassiopeia. Cassiopeia. Um, but never mind that. It's you I want to talk about. I hear you're a trainer with some serious potential. If that description is accurate, there's something I'd like to ask you. Tell me, uh, you know about Team Star, right? Yes. Great. I appreciate you being up front, front here. Team Star is a group of troublemakers formed by some academy students a while back. They cause headaches for the school and try to bring other students down to their level. And I refuse to sit idly by and let them get away with it. So I've come up with a plan to bring down Team Star and force them to disband for good. I call it Operation Starfall. But I'll need allies to carry out this operation, and I'd like you to be one of them. Sure. No need to reply right this second. We can discuss the details some other time. Uh, till then, I'll leave. I'll leave you to it. Bye. All right. Ah. Please do try to keep your voice down if you're making calls to the school, won't you? Of course, sir. You don't want anyone else overhearing any personal information, after all. Honestly, there are so many things we need to be careful about in this day and age. Uh, on you go, then, young man. Team Star, you say? All right, hold on. Before I do that, hold on. There's some classes I can take. Let's go biology. Yeah. I'll take these classes, and then I'll go see who else there is to chat, chat with. Hello, hello, my name is Mr. Jock, and I'll be your Pokemon Biology teacher. In my class, we'll learn about various quirks and beloved Pokemon together. 
I hope you all come to love Pokemon even more from the things you learn here. In today's class, I'll teach you the great way to get to know your Pokemon in more depth. If you like to become better friends with your Pokemon, you can let them come out of their Pokeball and walk along with you. Sounds great, huh? Uh, you can use the ZR button to throw a Pokeball and let out the Pokemon inside. Nothing cuter than watching your Pokemon run around underfoot, if you ask me. Once you let your Pokemon out, try speaking to them. Uh, they should respond in some way. It's a great way to get to know them better. However, letting your Pokemon out of its ball isn't such a great idea in some locations. Can anyone tell me where it shouldn't have Pokemon walk along with you? Uh... Let's go inside buildings. Uh, so you do your homework. The correct answer, but we should not walk Pokemon inside doors. How about that? Some Pokemon might damage walls, desks, and other things walking around inside buildings. So it's not allowed regardless of the species. Therefore, please don't let your Pokemon out of their Pokeballs while outdoors, okay? Uh, I think I, I think I see them out and about in classrooms from time to time, but still. Anyway, you may become even closer friends with Pokemon pals by walking together. Oh, I almost forgot. Keep in mind that you can only walk together with your lead Pokemon. Uh, remember to use the Earth. Okay. Start battle. Okay. It looks like that's all the time we have today. See you, uh, see you all next class. Uh, I guess let's go biology too, I guess. Yep. Hello, hello. I hope everyone's ready to learn some new things today. Did you know, did you all try using the ZR to let your Pokemon out? Yep. Walking along with your Pokemon lets you see how unique and cute they are. Um, I'd highly recommend picnics for you who want to spend some quality time together with the Pokemon in your party. You can get them all around the table to make sandwiches and play. It's really a lot of fun. If you want to learn more about making food, Mr. Service's class is the best place to go. Now, sometimes while you're enjoying a picnic with your Pokemon, you may find something very, very important in the basket next to your table. It's very, very important it's very important something is what Pokemon are born from. Let's all set together. Eggs. Y'all got it right. The very important is I'm talking is Pokemon egg. It's not clear where these eggs come from, but they're probably placed in the basket rather stealthier by the Pokemon at the picnic. Walking around with the egg will help warm it, which allows it to hatch. Eggs won't warm up by sitting in boxes, though. You need to have them at your party. And, here, and here's one more super important thing I'd like to remember about eggs. Pokemon entrust us with their eggs because they believe in us. So I sure would be happy to see you all be responsible parents for your little Pokemon eggs. Whoops, most important point came as the bell rang. Well, see you all next time, I guess. Let's see. Okay. So, okay, so be two of every. Okay. Yep, miss time. Let's see. Hello, everyone. Nice to meet you. My name's Miss. Uh, my name's Tom, and I'll be your math teacher. Uh, sorry to put you all on the spot at the start of class, but let me ask you a quick question. Do you enjoy numbers, arithmetic, and the like? I mean, I do. Oh, my. Thank you for your honest responses. Some of you may like numbers and some may not. I think that makes uh, makes a wonderful mix. But no matter your opinion on, on math, I hope you find yourself enjoying our lessons together. I'll do my best to find a good way to match up your interests with all types of math lessons. Speaking of which, are you all caught up on your studies of Pokemon type matchups? For example, grass is strong against water, water is water, grass against water, and water is strong against fire, correct? Yes. Uh, you seem to be good with Pokemon, so let me ask you this. 
Bearing in mind that water is strong against fire, if the move water gun hits a fire type, what becomes the move's damage? Um, it's doubled. Um, I knew you could. Uh, I knew that's right. I knew I could count on you for this question. Use the moves as a type that his opponent is weak in super effective tactic. It multiplies damage of those moves by two. On the other hand, use the moves of that type your opponent is resistant to. Uh, resistant to is it effect, very effective? It divides the damage of your moves by two. Uh, I mean, in encroach or Miss Dendra's Ms. Dendra's battle study territory, of course, but. I thought it best to use a lively topic as an example that can make math fun even though even for those of you who don't much like the subject don't you think oh my is that the bell I suppose that's that's all for now what a shame I'm looking forward to seeing you on the next class I hope you are looking forward to it too Yeah, I want to take all the classes because I think he gets a special item for taking the classes and stuff too. Hello everyone, let's have a fun class today. Tell me, do you all enjoy shopping, buy tasty bread, or choosing new clothes? Even just window shopping is so much fun. In today's class, I'd like to use shopping, one of my favorite hobbies, mind you, to teach you all about math. I'm sure everyone here has visited a Pokemon at least once. They saw all sorts of Pokemon items. Pokeballs are one of the many useful items you can find there. They cost 200 each. Now then, I'd like y'all to do some thinking with me here. One Pokemon teacher you've had 2,000 and bought as many Pokemon as you could afford. How many would you receive? 10. That you can't afford to purchase. Oh, 11 because of the because of the premier ball. Yeah. It sure is nice to get a little bonus like that on a shopping trip, isn't it? Yeah, I forgot about the premier ball. I'm looking forward to seeing y'all next class. Hope you're looking forward to it too. Yeah, I forgot about the premier ball. Battle studies, Miss Dendra. Dendra. Uh, Osu, say hello to your battle instructor, the one, the only, the hot blooded Dendra. Osu is a karate thing, by the way. Look it up. My age, 25. My hobby, working out. My type, well, strong and muscular fighting type, of course. That's all for my introduction. As for my class, this is where you all get to learn the nitty gritty of Pokemon battling. We'll start with the basics so that no trainer gets left in the dust, even if you're new to this stuff. Have no fear. Leave it to me and my muscles and you'll be pros in no time. Let's set our fighting spirits ablaze together. Pokemon have all kinds of attack moves at their disposal, and each move has certain qualities that you'll want to remember. I'm talking about the power, type, and category of these moves. Higher power means more damage, especially if your opponent is weak to that move's type. Heads up, new kid. Question coming your way. There are two categories that, that attack moves can fall under. Know what they are? Uh, physical moves and special moves. Awesome, you're just as sharp as I expected, new kid. Looks like you have a handle on the basics. Anyway, attack moves are split into two categories, physical and special. Physical moves do more damage the higher the Pokemon's attack stat is. And special moves do more damage the higher the Pokemon's special attack stat is. On the other side of things, Pokemon getting hit by these moves can take less damage by having a high defense or special defense stat, respectively. In conclusion, Pokemon that are good with physical moves should raise their attack stat, and Pokemon that are good with special moves should raise their special attack stat. 
trying to raise both of these stats equally will just make it hard for the Pokemon to shine in battle. Make your strong Pokemon make make your strong points stronger. I will always say that. I'll, I'll, I'll always say that goes for both Pokemon and people and Pokemon. Oh man, just about to suggest we do some hands-on practice to really drive the point home. But I guess we're out of time. We'll generally meet for class here in the schoolyard, uh, even for book learning. Nothing like fresh air to make the studying more fun. Am I right? But class is over for now. Take care, you little rascals. Last class right now. Another day, another round of battle study. Oh, Sue, let's get it, get right to it. Is everyone excited about the treasure hunt? It's always a great adventure. You get to take on take on gyms, go to new places, and run all over the place with your partner Pokemon. And while you're running around out there, I'll bet you'll come across some big shiny crystals fairly often as well. These crystals are actually collections of terrestrial energy that speeds up, that that seeped up out of the ground. Uh, you can check out these crystals to battle Terra Pokemon with your uh, with your friends or other trainers in a group of four. We'll call those battles Terra Raid battles. The Terra Pokemon you face off against in Terra Raid battles are crazy, th are crazy tough. Uh, they sometimes act differently than regular Pokemon, so you need to be on your guard. Luckily, trainers can also use a special action Terra Raid battles. It's called cheering. And there are three different cheers you can choose. First is go all out and boost the attack and special attack of, of, of all ally Pokemon. The second is hang tough. This one boosts defense and special defense of all ally Pokemon. Uh, and the third, well, let's see if you can guess. Uh, this cheer restores HP for an ally Pokemon. What do you think it is? Uh, heal up. That's right. Maybe I should make you the battle teacher, huh, new kid? The third and final is the third final cheer is heal up. It's a real powerhouse with the ability to both restore HP and cure status conditions. You can cheer up to three times during a single terror raid battle. Also, cheering uses up a turn in battle, so you won't be able to have your Pokemon use any of their moves when you cheer. In conclusion, try everything at your disposal. If nothing seems to be working, try cheering on your allies. Providing support for your team can sometimes open up a new realm of possibilities. Oh, man, I just about to suggest we do some hands-on training. All right. Ugh. All right, now that I got the, all, all that taken out, uh, let's go. Wait, hold on. I need to go. Yeah, I need to go here and talk to Namona. Cause she's gonna tell me about the gym leader, uh, the uh, gym leaders. She'll tell me about that one. Very well, Champion Amona. I trust you handle. I trust you to handle this with my steed or stead. Uh, sure thing. You can count on me. In fact, I bet this is gonna be fun. I'm glad to hear it. Good day then. Oh, pardon me. Oh, hey. Piqued your interest, huh? That lady as well. They call her La Primera. She's strong. She can do pretty much anything. She's got cool practically coming out of her ears. She's basically everything I want to be or that any Pokemon trainer would want to be, really. Uh, oh, which reminds me. Remember in Homeroom when I asked what your dream is? 
Well, since your heart's already set on becoming a really strong trainer, I've got an idea for you. You should try to reach champion rank like me. Yeah, I will. Oh, wow. Hang on, though. I've got a whole spiel I want to give you. Here it goes. The trainers who reach champion rank are the ones who raise their Pokemon really strong. They're pro tier battles. Uh, they're, they're pro tier battlers. Their moves keep crowds absolutely on the edge of their seats. You have to prove yourself to the Pokemon League to officially get the title of champion. And to do that, you have to do more than just take classes here. You've got to take on eight Pokemon gyms and win so you can collect their gym badges. Once you've done all that, uh, all this less is special test the champion's assessment. And once you pass that, then at long last, you'll be a champion. It's every Pokemon trainer's dream, the coolest title anyone could ever hope for, hope to get. Not to brag or anything. I reached champion rank during our last treasure hunt, you know. Oh, the treasure hunt is a special independent study, uh, study thing that we got here. Should happen soon. Our last one started not so not long after the beginning of the school year. It's great. You get to leave school to go have an adventure and learn however you want. I guess you could say my journey to becoming a champion was a treasure I found, maybe. I don't know yet if it's the answer I'm looking for. Anyway, I've got a feeling I'd be able to get even stronger if you and I were both working at it. Let me go ahead and save the gym's location to your map in case you decide to go for it. The Pokemon gym location has been added to your map app. Victory Road. Give us some thought. Call into the director's office, please. Once again, to the director's office, please. I'm going to talk. I can't talk to her right now. Okay, I can't talk to any of them right now. Okay. Got to go to the director's office. I think, it's, I think it's where we get Team Star, the Team Star, what you call it. Thank you for coming. Uh, have you been enjoying your time here at Yuva Academy? Yes. Uh, it's most wonderful to hear. Uh, now, now you may be wondering why we could not have simply conversed early in the cafeteria, but let me assure you there's a reason why I asked you to meet me here in my office. It seems that a friend of mine has a rather serious matter that would like to discuss with you. Ah, no, I'm afraid they, they aren't actually here in this room with us. One, uh, one moment, please. Just allow me to connect us. Is that my dad? I think it's my dad. Hello, it's nice to meet you. Oh, no, 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 no. Not my dad. It's Arvin's dad. My name is Professor Turo. I carry out Pokemon research within the great crater of Paldea uh, at a site known as Area Zero. The professor is, in fact, a graduate of, of our fine academy, as well as Splendid Researcher. Well, allow me to get straight to the point. Uh, ID number... You are the student who traveled with the unusual Pokemon Mariah Don. Is that correct? Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate that you were, be that you were honest in confirming the facts. Ah, uh, not that I, I do not mean to offend you. In fact, I wish to ask you for your assistance. Assistance. Oh. 
How good to see that you are well. It has been quite a while since we last met. Maradon was once in my care, you see. Its Pokeball was also originally mine. I assume you received it from a young man called Arvin. I am no longer in any position to be able to manage that Pokemon myself. This is what I would ask for. Will you continue looking after Maradon on my behalf? Yep. I do appreciate your agreement. Maradon has been greatly weakened and is currently incapable of battle. It can, however, take you take on a form specialized for mobility. In all likelihood, it will require some time to fully regain the capabilities it once had. Uh, I will provide you with the contact information if you would please please get out of, out your phone. Uh, I'll, I'll be in regular contact going forward to keep tabs on your status. Until then. Could this Pokemon have its origins within Area Zero? Turo, don't tell me you actually did it. Well, it seems that the professor is asking quite the favor of you. But of course, the Academy is always here to support you in any way that we are able. I do hope you'll continue to enjoy your school life together with that Mariah Don. Okay, so somewhere else I have to go. Hello, excuse me. Oh, you're still here? Uh, getting called to the director's office. How'd you land in that much trouble already? Nah, kidding. I know it wasn't like that. Mr. Jock wanted me to show you the way to your room in the school dorms. Uh, your very own private room. Let's go check it out. Your dorm room. Okay. Yeah, this game is very slow at the beginning because there's a lot that you got to discover. ta, -ta cha <laughs> uh, From today on, this will be your room. Actually, it's new, to, it's new to me as it is for you. Never been in here before. Uh, maybe check out your bed. Looks comfy. You must be pretty worn out from all this stuff happening on your very first day, huh? A quick rest on a bed is all you need to get yourself and your Pokemon healthy again. I'll see you tomorrow when you've rested up. Then we can battle even more. Take care. I wish you could, like, decorate your room. Can you decorate your room in this game? I don't remember. Before I take a nap. Oh, never mind. It ain't gonna let me. Okay. Yep. The days quickly flew by after you start your new life in Yuva Academy. And then the last day arrives for your true adventure to, to begin. Attention all students, today marks the beginning of an important new assignment. Please assemble in the schoolyard where I will explain in more detail. I think it's where you find the treasure and I think that's where like the treasure hunt per se. It's time. Uh, I've been waiting forever for this. Come on, let's go out to the schoolyard. Uh, let me see. I should be able to visit that government. Okay. Excellent. Seems like everyone is here.
As usual, the theme will be a treasure hunt. I ask each of you to set out and travel the world in search of your own treasure. Uh, you have all learned much within the walls of our fine academy. Uh, but now it's the time to turn your eyes upon the water world. Okay. Explore Paldea's abundant nature, soak in its rich culture. Discover the Pokemon that live here and get to know the people too. Where will you travel? Who will you meet? And what will you achieve? Of course, your Pokemon partners will be there to help you. Your journey, you will journey together. Learn new things together. Share each other's thoughts and feelings. And find something you might always treasure. I look forward to welcoming you all back after your independent study. Uh, when you return as fine young trainers, let the treasure hunt begin. Onward. I think I missed a couple sentences. <laughs> Toma ya, it's time to it's time for the great outdoors. Come on, Sakalizer. Uh we're riding out. Take care everyone and remember the great crater of Paldea is exceedingly dangerous. Entering is a violation of school rules. What are you waiting for? Let's go. All right. So where do I go to first? Stop that. All right. So now y'all can see my beautiful face again after all that. Uh, okay. Yes, yeah, so I got to meet Nimona right here. One of them's some's gonna be about the star, the team star. The treasure hunt, it's finally starting. Uh, what do I mean by, what are we supposed to do? Yeah, fair question. Since it's your first time, come on, let's walk and talk. The treasure hunt is a page, is a huge part of the Yuva Academy school year. The point isn't to get us all looking for some actual hidden treasure necessarily. We, we're more just making our own adventures to see what experiences Paldea's got to offer. You could try to beat Pokemon gyms. You could help You could help out people in need. You could hunt for real capital treasure if you want it even. There's stuff we'd never learn sitting in a classroom, you know. It's our chance to learn it. Plus, there's so many chances to battle, which obviously is perfect for me. You and me sure got a battle if we run into each other out there. Hope you're ready. Yep, sure am. Oh, yeah, battling can wait. I meant to tell you. Do you know your phone's map app lets you set, set yourself destinations? Yep. You can try setting one of the gyms as your, as your destination. That'll, uh, that'll get you on your way easy. Uh, how's that for a student council president? Giving your own friends an insider advantage. And there's Arvin. Insider advantage? Sheesh, you make it sound like we're cheating or something. All I did was suggest that he check out the gyms. It's up to uh, it's up to him to uh, whether he goes. Uh, gonna have his hands full searching out Titan Pokemon with me. He doesn't have time to waste on something like chasing after the champion rank. Me and him are going to be too busy visiting the lairs of Titans and nabbing their Herba Mystica. Uh, in serio? Don't go filling his head with weird stories. 
Hey, all I did was invite him along. It's still up to, to uh, whether he goes, right? And then I got the Team Star. Uh, your phone's ringing. Uh, Cassopia here. Uh, it's Operation Star. It's about Operation Starfire. Remember what I told you before? Team Star is made up of five individual squads, and each one got their own base. I need you to go to each base. All five of them beat the squads. Just beat the squad boss there. Uh, Team Star's grunt we, uh, might try to get in your way, but I'll be helping you out from a distance. Uh, and heads up to heads up that the bosses each specialize in different Pokemon type. Just remember the names of their crews, and you'll figure it out. Um, still, no need to worry with skills with your skills. I'm sure you'll be more than up to the task. I'll just go ahead and add the bases locations to your phone for you. All right, Starfall Street. Good luck with those bosses. I'll hook you up with some nice rewards every time you beat one. Wait one second. Who are you supposed to be? And Team Star, those punks are serious hazard. They're not uh, his problem. That's right, because he's got more important things to do, like searching out awesome ingredients with me. I thought it was up to to decide whether or not he goes. Uh, was it that what you said, Namona and Arvin? Yep, that's true. How do you know my... I'm looking forward to seeing seeing what you can pull off. <sighs> what was that all about? Uh, I'm glad you're making plenty of friends here, but try not to get dragged into anything dangerous. Anyway, no more weird vibes. We've got a big adventure to start. Uh, I'm going to battle every single Pokemon trainer I meet. Uh, if I just keep trying to become the strongest, I bet that experience will be the thing I treasure. Guess I'll start by heading to a gym and train up some new Pokemon. Here, I'll send you a pic uh, of what the gym buildings look like. Okay. Oh, and I know we've been running our mouse, but it's uh, it's your call. What it's your call? What to do? Uh, go where you want and do what you want. Is really is really want to do the most. Good lord! A treasure of our very own. For me, that's got to be. My um, my big dream of tracking down Urban Mystica. That is, uh, once we get those herbs, I'll make you the absolute best sandwich you've had in your life. Uh, what'd you come out for? Oh my gosh, did it just come out because you said sandwich? Well, you're not getting one. It seems like it wants to start moving. It's telling you to get on. Okay, so yeah, that is. Okay, so press the. Okay. So press the plus button. Yeah. I got my Maridon. Whoa, it transformed. Now it really looks like a, some kind of weird cyclizer. Uh, as long as you got Mariah down, you can go pretty much anywhere. Pide is your cloister. Yeah, maybe. Well, if you're going to search for those Titan Pokemon, I'd say sit out for the East Gate. Sit out from the East Gate. But since uh, I head to gyms, I'd say the West Gate. Besides, it's the be it's way too easy to get lost out east. Uh, man, this is why I can't get along with you. I'm out of here. Catch up soon, little buddy. Uh, I'll head to the gym. See you around. Um, let's see. I think I'm going to start out by going to um, the Titans so I can get my uh, so I can get my ride down completely uh, level um, upgraded. All right, it's going to be it for that. Uh, I'm contemplating on coming back and playing this again because I forgot how fun this game is. Um, it's either going to be this I'm going to come back to and play again. Or I'm going to go play another game. I'm not 100% sure yet. But I love y'all. Thank y'all. appreciate y'all. Thank you for this channel. I'm about to get off before I do. Y'all stay safe. Don't do nothing stupid. Follow me on all my social media platforms. For, uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. All that good jazz. It's all Swirl1090. All the same name. Except TikTok. It's Swirl1590. Um, subscribe to me on YouTube. Uh, stay blessed. And uh, peace.